Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video, we have inside game with one of the new ARs instead of MWZ. And honestly, I love this gun. I really can't complain about it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy. They have mods for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome Call of Duty service company. They go in, unlock all the camos for you, all the zombie schematics. They have a ton of pre-made accounts. They also give you the opportunity to go into bot lobbies to unlock a ton of stuff yourself. They have a ton of services for all types of games out there. Their trust pilot reviews are awesome. Every single one of them is a great review, and I can tell you guys what this is probably the best company out there for services make sure you guys use code spazo to save money off all right welcome everybody back to the channel so in this video we are going to be using the bow now this weapon came out with season three reloaded and honestly i've been loving it i have the one tick camo on it this gun i will say this it's okay for bosses but what it does to zombies is absolutely insane it rips through zombies like crazy it shreds them extremely fast it's such a good gun when it comes to like killing hordes and you know just kind of making your way through any sort of area in mwz it's such a solid all-around gun it's good for bosses like it'll kill them it just takes a little bit longer than some other guns right which is kind of how a lot of the guns are in this game you know there's better and then there's worse and then they all have their pros they all have their cons we did bring in a ton of stuff as well uh, we brought in a freaking bike, which we might as well just go ahead and use. Where else am I going to use it? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe we can get into a tear and then just hop right over into the tier 3 zone. Uh, we're definitely going to want to get some perks. I'm going to need some more perks eventually. We don't have this operator max containment, so we didn't start with uh, like 5k. No, we started with like 2500. So, I mean, we can go buy a perk, or we can just get right into contracts and stuff like that. But it really doesn't matter what we do. We'll find our way, that is for sure. Uh, we could try and do one of those triangle things. I don't see why not. Or we don't have to. But, I mean, we can. Never hurts at all. Try and just drive up this hill right over here. Ooh. Okay, let me up here. All right. I think we can get out of here. We could probably just go up here and do this one real quick. It's not going to hurt us. That's for sure. We can shoot it and then we can go by like dead shot. Just to have it as an extra perk. Slowly start making our way through these perks and stuff. Plus, this will help us get, you know, more rare items. We'll be able to have another flawless crystal in our bank or our stash. There we go. And then shoot that one. Nice. Okay. Let me go buy a perk real quick or buy dead shot. Mm, we should be good. But yeah, man, I've been loving the bow for sure. I'll have the build at the end so you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, let me buy dead shot. Okay. I'm going to use all these zombies for the uh, triangle thing over here. That's why I'm not really trying to kill him right this second. Looks like that guy probably is doing that one over there. But hey, we got to this one, which is all that matters. That is for sure all that matters. Because it is definitely hard to beat people to these. Especially like when they spawn on with scorchers and whatnot. It can be a challenge. That's for sure. Let's see if we can get this thing to spawn in. Just chill here for a second. Uh, we can pop back to the other direction. Run back this way. Sometimes it's weird to get this thing started. I'm not exactly sure where you go. There we go. Okay. We can just chill right back here. Let these zombies all run in. There's a mimic coming. So with the bow... Oh, he's going to throw me off. I figured that as much. With the bow, you only, uh, what's it called? You start shooting slower, and then the more you're continuously shooting, the faster the gun starts to shoot. So that actually helps. It's kind of like that one aftermarket part. I forget the name of it. It's for the uh, one battle rifle, the Sidewinder. But it's definitely a very good gun, especially once you continue shooting. It's so good that, to be honest, it doesn't even need that continuous shooting. Okay. Let me chill right here. Try and take down this mimic. Thank you. 
Just keep letting these zombies in here. Keep getting their souls. Thank you. Keep on coming, zombies. What is that? Symbol monkey? We don't need that. Alright. Yeah, I've been trying to get the one tick camo on a lot of my guns. Because I've heard that you're going to need to get them all on every gun, but I don't know how true that is. Just keep coming, zombies. I'm proning so that mangler's blast don't really knock me too far. If not anywhere. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Thank you, game. You are awesome. Let me hop up here. We can start going to grab some contracts and whatnot now. Uh, there's a bounty we could go grab. It really doesn't matter which contract we do go for. Head this way. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're doing that one. They're doing that one. So we'll definitely probably be able to grab this bounty itself. Okay. 90 meters away, which isn't too, too far. Or too, too bad. Way over here. Yeah, it's such a cool thing they added into the game, man, with, like, the souls and everything. Makes for such a awesome thing to do if you can get there soon enough. Yeah, but the fact that this thing just rips through zombies is such an amazing thing. A lot of people underestimate this gun, and I get why, you know, because of the bosses and all that stuff, which we'll kind of cover a little bit here. But... It's not too, too bad. He, and with the Disciple, I guess it's kind of rough, but it shreds zombies. Every zombie. Non-bounty bosses, it shreds. You know, but the bounties, it just takes a little bit longer. But as you can, if you're kind of paying attention, you can kind of tell that it slowly starts to speed up. So it kills even quicker once you kind of get to the end of your mag, which is what you want. You want to be able to kill the zombies that are in front of you before you have to reload. Okay. We can keep moving. 150 meters away. Not too, too far, man. Not at all. We have our ether shroud as well. As well with a decoy to help us out. Alright. All the way over here. He's in this building, I believe. Okay. Where is he? There he is. Let me just pop that real quick. Break that initial health on him. Reload. What the heck? Disciple. Where'd you go, buddy? Where's he going all the way over here? Come on. Move back this way. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I didn't play it up. Grab this nuke. You kind of can pay attention to the health bar of him to be able to see how much damage the gun does. I will take every bit of this. Thank you. Okay. Now, we can go buy some perks, but we also can grab another contract if we get the chance to. There we go. Alright, let's head up to the Wonder Fizz way over here. Buy some more perks, kind of get going. Because we need stamina, we need speed cola, we need all that good stuff. 70 meters away, which is not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, man, make sure you guys, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. We post zombies content daily, unless something happens <laughs> to my equipment or on YouTube. Okay, let me jug too. But yeah, we try and post about two videos a day. So there's a continuation of content coming out. I got one tick literally in zombies. 
because of how good this gun was. It took a little bit. It took like two, three games, full games of just slapping zombies. But it's definitely a fairly fun gun to use. I just get it. Oh, no. I'm going to stick solo for a... Fra, bruh. <laughs> what? All right. 380 meters to this next bounty. I'd like to try and get a mega abomination if we can. That would be the goal here. Uh, there we go. Probably just go over here and grab this hatchback. Just make for a quicker, uh, quicker run for sure. All the way this way. Thank you, hatchback. All right. 230 meters but yeah hopefully we can get like a mega mimic mangler hopefully not another disciple I don't mind them but I do like to get a majority of other bosses as well in my game that's usually the goal what's in here uh, we don't need any of that we could use the durable gas mask just to have on our operator but let's be real I axfil <laughs> before even freaking 10 minutes is on the clock every game you know, I have no need to stay for gas. All right, 200 meters away. Not too bad. It's a mimic, by the way. So we'll be able to shred him. If you pair this gun with Magza Holding, it's even better because you can shoot so fast. You deal so much damage at once. But I didn't have Magza Holding. Holy. Just got absolutely destroyed. No, like, for real. <laughs> we just got destroyed. Need that mimic to come out here. I think we have another self-res, right? No, we don't. Okay. Interesting. So if we die, this is it. Know what that means? Just don't die. Simple. Be careful. Hellhounds are my worst enemy, man, I swear. Same with rocks in the ground. Ooh, bob and weave. Trying to eliminate as many zombies as possible. Shred. Shred. Thank you. Nothing in there I want. I need to hit a buy station so I can buy a self res. There's no point in having essence and <laughs> not having a self revive. In case of death. Okay. 180 meters till we can buy one. We just gotta survive for that long. We don't have any uh, plates, so we can't throw on plates. Which I don't know how I didn't pick up any plates, because I killed quite a bit of zombies. Maybe I just used them all. I'm trying to do better at plating, fellas. I am infamous for not plating ever. But, I'm trying to change that. The more zombies we can kill, the better, because we don't want to get pinned at the buy station. That's for sure. Because we don't have any decoys. Have our ether shroud. Use it. Okay, give me two. Just let me fill up on some plates. So we can plate up. Alright. What's in this crate right here? Uh, we don't need that. Epic Ether Tools not really needed anymore. They're doing that escort. We can go grab this bounty. Don't really want to grab the cargo. It doesn't really fit my agenda for this game. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude. I definitely love the bow. It's a fun gun. It's definitely a pretty solid weapon. Okay. Let me know what your favorite gun in the comment section is right now for Season 3. I definitely am interested to hear your guys' favorite right now. Whether if it's the best, if it's just an okay gun. What is your favorite gun? Disciple. Okay. All the way over here. 220 meters gas station. Yeah, pretty much the same area where I killed that mimic. I don't know if it'd be smart to try and refill my decoys. Ah, uh, we'll be alright. We will be alright. It'll just take a little bit, so I have to bob and weave. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. All the way over here. 
just reload and then hop down. Yeah, you have 120 rounds in your mag whenever you uh, use this build. Which is pretty good. It's a decent amount of ammo. It's not a little amount of ammo. I don't even know if these stick, really. No. Uh -oh. I was hoping I had PhD. <laughs> I thought I forgot to have PhD. Shoot that little fella's hand. Yep, no one to die. Shoot that hand. Get him. Reload real quick. Gotta outsmart the disciple himself. Hey, there's a nuke. Boom. Thank you. Uh, we don't need that. Actually, let me take this sigil. I'm not going to use it this game, but I would want to put it in my stash. So I have it. Uh, there's no more bounties. Unless one <laughs> randomly spawns in. Which would be pretty nice. But I don't know if one will. Guess we'll see. Uh, I don't really look like it. Okay, well we'll just end it here. We'll throw the build up on screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.